on the other side of this, it's it's just you know for me wanting to talk about uh, Kadarius Tony. I mean, yeah, it's mm. it's this is this is the whole reason why you drafted him why you wanted to have patience with him it's uh-huh. it's you wanted to have flex with him it's it's why you you know it's it's whether or not the head can be on right um now Kansas City seems to have a little bit of a uh, longer leash for guys and and maybe let them be themselves well, a little I'd bit much more. rather I'd much rather catch passes from uh, Patrick Mahomes and Daniel Jones too so for sure. I'm sure he's probably a little bit more um uh, willing to put the work in in Kansas City yeah, but I mean, after you see the Giants going in the way that they were going, though, I don't, I just, you know, I don't know how you, how your mindset doesn't, or, or, or is it just sour already? I think you, you could know? have been soured. I mean, which do, I don't love that. that I you mean, can't, I you mean, can't get over that. I mean, there like, have been grumblings from them since before sure, the season even sure. started. Sure, and it could be mutual. You yeah. know, like, hey, this isn't just going to work, so we're going to yeah. kind of do this. And um, but his, his hamstring's fucking fine. Kadarius clearly comes out there, and you know. For all the reasons that you wanted to hang on to him, for all the reasons, if you watch football, and you know, I, there was a lot of people like, has there been anybody in the history of the league who, over one game, has held so much value from that one game? Like, I'm not, I don't know if there was, but that that those couple of games and couple of passes that you saw that man catch is the only reason why you fucking kept fucking electric. coming, and you saw it in this game almost immediately as him taking the field now the touchdown that he scored i mean e- easy as it can get but that's also part of being in that kansas city offense yeah and no hardman and uh i mean tony tony is what they want hardman to be right and and uh, you know hardman's been getting some some handoffs and some scoring some decent fantasy points for you um in the last couple of weeks so no hardman this week juju gets knocked out figuratively <laughs> and literally <Ooh>. um you <laughs> know hope he's all right He's had been having a nice, quiet season. He's probably a game log trader um, if you don't have him. Uh, but, you know, Kadarius just on the sideline pass where he's spinning away from somebody, bouncing off of somebody, and then, and you know, barely getting tackled and then just really elevating above everybody and making a grab. He adjusted his glove, like, in midair while going to make that grab. I saw – I happened to look at the comments on that, and the top comment was from former – Cowboys a great Bryce Butler mm. saying that this happens all the time and that there's nothing special. Maybe it does or maybe it doesn't. It's just the fact that Canarius, I just thought it was funny that the top yeah. combo was from Bryce Butler. Bum. <laughs> um, but well, if you, know. you if you saw Kadarius Tony at the Senior Bowl like I did, then you knew he could do that easily. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, shout out to Ridley Truther. Um, <laughs> he said he's a Senior Bowl, Senior Week God. Yeah. I don't think he was in the senior bowl, right? He's, but, he's a twenty-year-old so. dude. But this is I, 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 this is the but reason. I saw him there. That, senior bowl. That performance was the reason. Is the reason why you hung on to Kadarius Tony and why you're super excited that you know that you that you in redraft you probably dropped him, but hopefully you scooped him back up right as this as this news came out. Um, it's nice to have him on the bottom of that roster and just he see was this at the senior bowl, by the way. Kind of pop up, Kadarius Tony. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> but he's twenty three. Okay, so yeah, he's a little old. I mean, I'm sure there's the people who didn't like him and say that has there been anybody been got more long of a leash that Kadarius Tony had than the player has than what Kadarius Tony did in a few games and a few catches. I'm sure those people are telling you to sell. I'm telling you absolutely not to fucking sell. No, um, I mean, there's probably some ridiculous offers out there. I mean, I was like my first. You, st- you still talking about Tony? So yeah. I got caught up in the comments there for a second. I had this discussion. We did a, a half. We did a, a live chat thing in our Discord channel for one of the Thursday night games. Right after he got traded, and was chatting with some people in the Discord channel. Uh, shout out to the the Pleasure Chesters. Uh, and if you guys are looking for some more content, and more more di- access to the Discord channel, go over to patreoncom Dynasty. And I was like, you know, I'm not absolutely not selling Kadarius Tony. Like no matter what, I'm fucking old now because I fucking love this guy. I got him at a discount. All everywhere. the price points pretty much were pretty cheap that I bought in on Tony. Right. And but you know, yeah, I mean, even in the rookie draft, you're paying a mid second. Right. At the same time, sometimes even like a late because you know people just wanted to to hate and not not you know. I think in the UDPO, I guess that's super flex. We got him pretty late in mm-hmm. the second. Actually, I think we traded, we bought him, traded him away, and then bought him back when we couldn't get the guy we wanted and ended up with Tony. Uh, now you see what it could be, and it did definitely help that Juju went out. 
and he was kind of forced into the lineup there. But you saw him making some ridiculous plays. And but at the same time, it's like if you could, you know, is that enough? So so I could see selling before you saw anything from him because I thought it was going to be a minute before you could buy Kadarius t- before you could like really capitalize or or see what it could be with the Chiefs. Like a lot of people were, came out and were like, "This isn't an indictment on Sky Moore. This is a plan for next year." And you know, which it definitely is sort of an indictment on Sky Moore. He didn't come in and crush it when. Juju went out. I thought out. he was going to be so... Um, st- st- jury's still out on Sky Moore, but like... Yeah, I mean, I'm not worried of necessarily too worried about that. Definitely if you can, a if little you can worried buy, about Sky Moore, but... If you can buy Kadarius Tony for all the... Like, the cheat. <laughs> this is... That doesn't make... We're all literally sitting here oogling over the ridiculous ability of Kadarius Tony, and then it's an indictment on no. If you can get that guy, the Chiefs are just fucking good at yeah. fucking playing this goddamn game. If you yeah. can get a guy like that for fucking pennies on the dollar of what he's probably worth, if you can get him to not be a fucking idiot on the yeah. uh, outside of not being on the field, you fucking do it. I don't give a shit who you just got in the draft. Yeah, and they didn't really pay. It was like a third and a sixth, so it was yeah. like nothing for for the first round talent and. Andy Reid knows how to deal with these guys and can somehow rein them in. And if he can keep his shit together, I don't know how awesome it's going to be. Is this going to be the case moving forward? Probably not. It's probably going to take a little bit longer. You know, you I probably mean, sure this is week here, two, but you can see the ceiling. So you're just you're not selling. You're holding tight. I'm chilling. Unless somebody wants to give me a really good first for Kadarius Tony, I'm I'm fucking chilling. Like. This is no one's giving you a first Tony right now. That's, that, I'm good. I, you, I'm. I don't want your fucking one twelve or one ten either. I'm fucking hanging on. Like that's. I, I want a guy like Kadarius Tony at one fucking ten or twelve in the in the draft that could be fucking a league winner. That's what I want, and he's. That's what he possibly is. And all of a sudden, he's in one of the top three situations in the fucking league. What are we kidding ourselves here? Like, get the. Let's go. Give me fuck yeah. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Would you, ooh, here's a good question for you. Would you rather have... I think I know the answer here. Would you rather have Tony or Jameson Williams? Mm. Probably Jameson Williams. Okay. Just making sure we're on the same page there. Really? Yeah, that's an easy one for me. Why? Uh, well, They're basically kind of the same... Cut from the same cloth of, of being just ridiculously game-breaking ability. Yeah. And one guy is probably not as much of a... Of a liability as the other guy um and did it on a huge scale and and um at a huge level and and was really a a big difference maker and if he wasn't hurt right now that's really the only advantage i could maybe give to tony is that one one guy's not coming off an acl but you know he probably would have been could have been we don't know but the first receiver taken and and be potentially blowing the league up right now so i mean i think I think they're kind of cut from the same cloth from what you're hoping to get the electricity that both of them can generate for your team and just be game the ruiners, God game records. Um, the, the, the landing spot gives you some hope for Tony, but the, you know, the first round pick and not rushing him back. And, and really, you know, the lions, the fact that, you know, I, I think maybe we're trying to move forward with that franchise. And if, if what if he gets, what if they do get CJ Stratt? What if they do get a good quarterback? What if, what if you know, it's a thong? You know, what if what if it's lace? What if what it's if, something crazy I don't even know about? What if they get some decent quarterback play all of a sudden? Um and not that yeah. golf is is terrible. Um but I mean he certainly has his limitations. Right. You want something a little better than that, but I, I, I'd probably go Jameson Williams there. Yeah. I mean I could see yeah, I mean I could see the Lions maybe taking a stab on one of these guys who are Maybe need maybe need a season to to maturate. Yeah, I mean, shit. What a Bo Nix. Yeah, I mean, maybe yeah, obviously in the later Not, rounds. Yeah, but maybe in the, like the second or something like I that. I can't figure out if he like I was I was pretty sure he was terrible, and then he's played some decent ball here he over looked the last awful last year. I remember watching I, he the looked Pimps awful for he looked awful most of his career. I mean, maybe this is more of an indictment about how bad Auburn is as a. Universal or just team. Or, well, it could be an, about uh, how how bad of an indictment Pac-12 <laughs> defenses are, as well. Um, valid point. Not saying either is right or wrong, but a little bit, little column A, little column has B. been <laughs> has been pretty good this year though. Like I can't even hate. Um, yeah. On Knicks. Try some of column A. Try all of column B. <laughs> huh? Christian Watson is is the story of this game. Sure, we, we he s- has to. Yeah. 
we said a few weeks ago on this show that you know the, the value's low go buy him there's opportunity there didn't love him in the process coming out because he was being pushed up so high and put on a pedestal everything's kind of lining up right now they got a lot of injuries he in the last the game when he came back right when was dancing around the concussion issue and coming off the other injury had a couple of plays in there where he looked really really quick really fast big obviously opened up the season with a big drop um and then this game he finally kind of put it all together got the targets um got the touchdowns obviously I, obviously i'm not expecting three touchdown games i mean that's almost bad right he has to regress he can't it's <laughs> too many touchdowns to to targets i mean it's like that's a bad thing right <laughs> i guess can't have too many touchdowns um, analytics people will get mad what you what you did like to see is the amount of targets and you know there were still a drop or two in there uh with him and eight targets four receptions 107 yards he gives them an element that they didn't have and that's ability to get over the top of of defenses um which you know dubs can do dubs yeah. can do but sammy watson sammy Watkins, sammy watkins do it like five years ago yeah but Watson gives you that that ago. next, you know, there's nothing. You don't have to do anything like, hey, Bo, go out there and just run down the field. I'm going to throw it up. Like, that's you, you can do that a couple of times a game. It gives you MVS plus, it seems like, a little bit here with uh, Christian Watson. Jesus, game. stop with the MVS. I'm saying for that team. But he does drop it. I'm saying for that team. That's what, you He's know. He's like Gabe Davis. That's gives mean. you Gives you ability to take the top off. And, if you know, there was a couple of those intermediate routes where he made some nice grabs. And, you know, moving forward, if you're going to, if that's how you're going to use him and, and he can be involved, eight targets a game, I'll take that all day uh, from the Christian Watson. Obviously, you, there's no chance you're buying him after this game. It's a, it's a 425 game. Everybody's the game, of the, game week. of the week. There's yeah, only three everybody's games watching on. this one. One of them one was, was irrelevant. Awful. I at the end of the season in any rookie drafts, I was buying Christian Watson, and any startup drafts, I was buying Christian Watson for this reason right here. That well, not he, for the late first. He had but. he had no no no. Well, that's he wasn't going there. He was the value was pushed down by the end of redra or by the end of rookie draft True. season. Yeah, yeah, and everybody was out on him because he was banged up and there wasn't anything going on. And and everything was dubs 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 in the preseason. Yeah, yada yada yada. And when that happens, and there's it's not that I dislike the raw ability of uh, give me four three big tall six five fella there all with tied to tied to Aaron Rodgers potentially for two years like yeah of course I want that I don't want to elevate that raw ability up so high that it, it doesn't make that much sense but once it gets to a price point that I'm into then I'm all in and you know me and Bico had a long discussion in the draft that we had and he pretty much was like oh you know I don't I don't know that I you know nobody likes Christian Watson anymore all of a sudden and what are we going to do we're strictly at this point in the draft looking for guys that we can buy and then resell and I'm like, dude, there is no other guy on, on out here that can give you what Christian Watson is about to give you. And then the resale value be through the roof. And like the whole game, him and I are just going back and forth like this is fuck. I fuck. This is exactly what I wanted to happen was a fucking big blow up game to show you how big and fast he is. And then he cuts the backflip to show you how fucking athletic Ooh, this guy the is. It was nice. And like that's and it's a game where everybody's fucking watching. And now you get the replays of it over and over and over again all week long. Lambo. And now this is a, a you know, a, for that struggle a little bit on that one. particular team. The whole purpose of buying him was to sell him. Now it's obviously with a bunch of patrons and they're hearing this right now. But yeah. I'm sure it's not, you know, disparaging them from coming to get their Christian Watson if they really want it. Now, most people are going to say you want more than just this one, but yeah. um, you know, the, the, the value flip on Watson was so easy um, and, and, and so good by the end of the season to see that like, and then even in the season, like two or three weeks ago, it was like, Hey, go grab him if you can go grab him and redraft. If you can, there's a potential league winner. And he was, you probably could have got him for a two, all day up until you know this game right here mm -hmm. uh, yeah throughout you know whether you played an end of the first round first form or maybe you got him at the top of the second somebody was probably willing to move on from watson to recoup that too and you know now no more as it's it's for sure i'm gonna assume that if any trades are going down with watson right now they involve a one 
and yeah, I and, sure. I and I don't think because you're not getting a two, probably not two twos. Um, so, uh, you know, great great value f- with some great flippability there with Watson. Um, you know, I'm not saying definitely a hundred percent flip him, uh, but I, I'm going to be looking to flip t- him to flip him in 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 the leagues that I bought him for so the you purpose get a first form for the purpose that. of exactly like I, that was the purpose that I was purchasing him. Um, was to do that. Um, so it you, looks... And so you're trying to get a first? You, you would do that? If somebody would give me a first right now, depending on where it was and what it was, maybe. I don't know that anybody in, in leagues are that, that are going to do that right this minute. There's I don't there's think, somebody right now that got that that has happened. Sure. Um, but uh, I'm, I don't think that that's a... We need a little bit more, but this is... If it's just a couple of, you know, four for 60s, that's the value will continue even if it's not awesome like this one was yeah just to see the usage and him scoring points week after week we'll then go ahead and stamp that where people are going to go hey but there's that there's that 107 and three game and then a couple of these other games and some touchdowns mixed in there yeah of course i want christian watson look at how great this is going to be for you know however i don't know how christian watson is i don't think he's terribly old um obviously he's 23 but a little old for a rookie but you know uh so Anyway, um, any other? Oh, let's let's hit Arizona, LA. I don't really want to talk about the game, but Rondell Moore has been having a nice nice stretch here. Um, I don't have the game log in front of me. Um, I think he said like a thirty percent target share the last couple of weeks. And you know, obviously didn't have the rookie campaign that you were looking for, but uh, and, no, he did not. And I believe, you know, I'd be interested to see what happens when Hollywood comes back, where he plays. But I think he was on the outside at least some in this game. Yeah. Um, so I'd be interested. I haven't broken it down yet, but I was something bef- while we were while I was watching some of that Cardinals game and some red zone and seeing the totals from Rondell. He's been very startable. 10, um, 4, 23, 15, 18 in the last five weeks. And the targets have been pretty high. 13 the week before that. Since week five, he's at 8, 10, 2, 8, 10, 13 for right. targets. So, I mean, there's some, some great uh play there what what would be the price tag on selling and or buying rondell for you guys i know he's a player that both jason and i were, were really liked yeah it was, i liked it him was a lot too basically going into it though was were the cardinals gonna put him in a position to be good and use him properly and um, last year and they obviously didn't. they did not uh but um still only 22 how do you what do you What's he's he's a probably if you were trying to trade him, you'd have to send the game log along with it. You know, yeah, no one's gonna believe it or care. So, I think if you have him, you're probably just excited about it. You're yeah. finally getting some value back from what you paid for him, which was probably like a late first, late first, draft. early second, uh, or or decent discount in the startup. So maybe if you wanted to try and flip him for that, I mean, you you're probably holding for a two, right? No, no way I'm selling for a two. Yeah. And you can't get the one. No. Do a one-two swap, sell Tony, give up the two, get the one back. Or so get not a, Tony, sorry, Rondale. Or get a nice little, uh, or, or try and get a nice little bump. Try to give him and a two to get something. Move up from from Rondale. Yeah, get a little upgrade. You got to send that, you got to send that game log. Would you buy Tony? Would you? I just keep saying Tony. Would you sell Rondell for Tony? Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, if you're not selling Tony for anything better than like a decent one, then why wouldn't you give up Rondell? Yeah, I think I'd rather have Tony as well. There's an easier path to long-term targets. D hops old, so that's one thing. You do have Marquise He's still coming fucking back. Good. You do have, yeah. He I is. mean, he doesn't look. He looks awesome. Uh, you do have Marquise coming back sometime soon here at some point. They said he should be back, maybe this week, but definitely after the bye. Wow, that's a stat. Yeah, I, I would probably take Tony. I like I like what Rondell can do. Where Rondell's at, if if. If there, if I could know that that target volume would keep up, then yeah, we would really, really have a big discussion on our hands 
whether or not you want him or Tony, because it's like he can do some of the things that Tony can do yeah, with the ball sure. in his hands. Um, and then if you're getting that kind of volume, then that's what you want with Rondell because he can make a big play out of just about anything. Um, and I don't need every play to be a down the field play. I, I actually prefer if you could give him a couple of screens and hand him the ball a couple of times as well, like because those are th- things that he can do well. Um, but he can also get down the field and get behind you. Um, so that one's not as cut and dry for me. It's kind of it's kind of right there. And I, you know, I I don't think. I wouldn't sell Rondell for anything less than a one. Like, I, I believe in the talent. I like what's going on. The volume's great. I mean, maybe you're screaming in the computer right now, like you gotta sell Rondell right now because he's the the, the volumes that he's getting so good, and it's probably not sustainable. I'd sell Rondell for two twos. You'd sell Rondell for two twos. I'm hanging on to those two twos. Nah, I'm selling them for two twos. Right. I'm hanging on to Rondell. Mm-hmm. I could go either way with that. I think it's a fair trade. I think it's a fair trade too. I just, I just worried about him going forward. Rondell or Gabe Davis? Uh, I think my son Gabriel. <laughs> I think you gotta take Gabe. Yeah, you get a couple games that I gave. You might get that first. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take Gabe too. Gabe's hot in the streets. The Bills are, even though they lost. I mean, I, clearly, you got to like the Bills way more than you like anything going on in Arizona. Um, so that's really the only thing that makes me not go say, give me fucking Rondo. Um, but I don't love what's I obviously got to like what's going on in Buffalo. There's so many more eyes on what's going on in Buffalo and so much more desire to mm-hmm. obtain anything in Be Buffalo. Of it. Um, but there's also a lot of desire to get guys who get 10 targets a game um and if that can continue and you can continue to develop uh you know rondell and into something i think you know would you trade gabe davis for two twos no you'd hang on to him yeah i'd want the first yeah i'd want the first for both of those guys so i'd say they're pretty I feel even like you're a lot, easy, a lot more likely to get the first for davis than you are for rondell yeah and i think i think that's situationally because of, of the teams that they play, the logo, that's uh, helmet scouting. It's also eyeball scouting when he scores sure. I mean, four it's, touchdowns in a it's, playoff it's one game. Guy, it's one guy, right. It's one guy scoring, having opportun- more scoring opportunities and, and more people seeing them and being excited about them than, you know, the guy who's... There is a lot of questions with Nuke. You did lose Ertz now. That's um, true. That is true. That's a good point. Which but what about McBreezy? Mc, yeah, I mean... Rookie tight end, uh, he's been out there getting some snaps, but not not a whole lot of targets. Got one this week, um, and he he's he he shown the ability to be a high target guy, but I don't know that that's necessarily going to be the case this year. Yeah, um, I just don't think they'd like to use the tight end if it's not Zach Ertz. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm I, I got those guys pretty close, and I, I'm I'm leaning Rondell. I'm just me and Gabe we're on the outs right now. I can see we that. We got to see a marriage counselor, see if we yeah. can make this work. Yeah. You know, we're doing it for the kids right now. That's you know? good. That's good. We don't want to split up and have two Christmases. Yeah.